What's going on folks, Patrick Powers here from Powerhouse Motorsports, Connecticut's leading used power sport dealer and speed shop. Today we're taking a look at Z1R's Warrant Helmet, a really nice thermoplastic polycarbonate lid. In this video, we'll dive into its features and benefits. We'll take a look at who this helmet is for and its intended use. Then we'll wrap it up with pricing and we'll see how this helmet performs out there on the road. Remember, you can get this helmet and thousands of other gear, parts, and accessories right now on our website at www.powerhousemotorsports.com. I'll throw the link in the description below so you can schedule your service, browse our entire inventory online, value your trade, and much more. Stay tuned. Now, who is this helmet for, guys? Now, this being a budget lid coming in at $109.95, this helmet really is for a sport crowd, a sport bike rider. This is a great daily commuter and a really nice budget option for someone who might just be getting into the industry. Now, this one here is a street helmet, so it's not really designed for off-road use. Again, a really nice commuter, and anyone sport-focused can really take advantage of this, uh, this value here. Now, unfortunately, this one does not come with a Snell rating, so for all you track warriors out there, unfortunately, this guy here will not pass tech. So as this helmet sits, it's a very good looking helmet. It's got pretty aggressive styling and a nice intermediate tuck. If I go ahead and pick this helmet up and I put this shield perfectly perpendicular up and down, you're gonna be able to gauge what that tuck looks like. This makes the Warren helmet a great option for all different types of rider and gear choices with its simplistic yet powerful design and neutral ergonomics. Now, what's interesting is I couldn't find any information online pertaining to the actual helmet shell shape on this one here, but I am going to assume, judging by the appeal to the masses type effect that this helmet has, that it is going to be of an intermediate oval shape. Now, this Warren helmet comes in at 3.6 pounds on the scale, which is a very standard weight for helmets, especially a thermoplastic polycarbonate lid, which tends to be a little bit on the heavier side compared to some lightweight fiber and amalgamation composite lids. Now, this one I have here in matte black, but it's also available in many different solid colors like white, uh, a nice high vis option. And then you also have some really cool graphical colorways which are available in the warrant as well. So take a look at those. Now this one here again is an injection molded thermoplastic polycarbonate lid with a DOT and ECE rating. So what I'm gonna do real quick is do my flex test. What I like to do is grab the helmet at the chin bar and at the rear and just give it a nice solid push. And we don't really have significant flex coming from this one, but we do have um, some elasticity, which is great to rebound off of a solid object if you were ever to use the helmet as a protective device. So I am pleased with the durability of this lid here. Now let's talk some features and benefits of this one here. Let's take a look at the ventilation. You do have a nice tri-vent package on this one here. At the chin, you're gonna notice one standard intake. It is an active intake. However, it is only a single position switch, meaning it is going to be open or closed at all times. And that makes up the entirety of your intake vents. So at the crown as well, it is going to be just open or closed. But as we move into the chin here, it does express a lot of that fresh air to two exhaust ports at the inside of the chin bar. And it also splits that air to head it on up through your breath guard and onto the front shield, which will aid in defogging. At the top of the helmet, at the crown, we have this nice large intake up here, which forces fresh air into a dual channel network in the EPS foam, which then leads to the exhaust, a passive exhaust, meaning it is open at all times. It cannot be fully closed. And then on the sides, we also have two additional exhaust vents right here, which is a really nice touch. 
However, these exhaust vents are right over where your ears tend to sit. So we'll have to see when we take it out there on the road exactly how this helmet performs in terms of wind noise. Moving on over to the scratch resistant polycarbonate shield here. I really like the design on this one. They actually gave you two pull tabs so you can manipulate that shield up or down on either side, which is a nice touch. Now this shield does come with a city switch. So if we just pop this on up right here, you'll notice that it rests with a slight opening. That's gonna help with defogging and kind of getting some just uh, refreshing air into the helmet. However, this shield here does not have any comfort detents, meaning any intermediary zones, anything like that. It is honestly just full open or full closed with a nice shield lock at the top for you. Now, if you take a look at the side of the shield here, Z1R included a really nice spring loaded shield mechanism, which is gonna go ahead and pull that shield up against the gasket right here, creating a nice wind tight and watertight seal. Now replacement shields are available on this one here in smoked and mirrored. I'll go ahead and throw the uh, link down in the description below so you can go ahead and get those shield swaps going on. And a shield change is very straightforward on this one. Always when we do a shield change, we're gonna manipulate that shield to its full open position. And then you're just gonna follow the, the pull tabs right here. Just give it a quick pull and that will pop right on out and it's easily replaceable. So you can grab that smoked or mirrored shield. You can even put it right here inside of your jacket if you're on the road during the day and you've got a nice smoked or mirrored setup on your way home in the evening, just pull out that clear shield, do a quick swap, and now you're good and safe to ride home in the evening hours. Now moving to the inside of the lid, the first thing I wanted to talk about was this nice drop down internal sun visor. So this is gonna allow you to keep your sunglasses at home. You don't have to pull over on the side of the road and fish them out of any storage solutions that you have. And if you're running a clear shield, this is a great option for you. At the front here, we have your removable breath guard that's gonna go ahead and keep a lot of that hot air off of your shield and aid in fogging for you. Now folks, as I flip this helmet over, you'll notice the entry size on this is really nice and pretty standard, so it is gonna fit a lot of you riders out there. On the inside also, we've got fully removable, replaceable, and washable moisture wicking cheek pads. So these guys rip right on out. You can also customize your size a little bit. I'll go ahead and throw the link to our website down below so you can replace your pads or adjust your fit a little bit by getting either larger or smaller pads. Now I'm gonna take these pads out real quick just to show you how much of a breeze this is. Just give it a quick grab, a couple snaps come loose, and then you've got a retaining piece at the back here and you're good to go. And what I wanted to show you on the inside, which is a nice inclusion from uh, Z1R here for us, are speaker cups. So this is gonna allow you to install any sort of Bluetooth communicator. Really nice touch from Z1R. Now the next thing I wanted to talk about on the inside of the lid here is your EPS foam. Um, again, I couldn't find any information from OEM or anyone selling these helmets as to what density and how many densities of EPS foam we have on the inside. But utilizing my experience in the industry over many years, it looks as if this is a dual density lid. So we've got harder foam on the side and we've got softer foam at the crown here where you see those exhaust vents. That leads me to believe we can possibly handle high to low speed impacts with this EPS foam here. Now I do have a question here for you guys. Go ahead and throw your answers down in the comment section below. I'll answer it in my next video. But why do helmet manufacturers paint the inside of their helmets black? Meaning why do they paint the EPS foam black? Throw your answers down below. Now folks, anytime I take a helmet out on the road, I am looking for a few things. First is gonna be comfort. Second is gonna be aerodynamic performance. And third, noise level. Now this helmet here is comfortable. Usually I fit into a large slash extra large pretty nicely, and this extra large here fits me snugly. I'm also pretty snug at the crown too. The cheek pads are comfortable, and they're also a comfortable material, making a really nice seal and fit around my cheekbones and temple. Now let's get into performance on this one. Coming in at 109.95 for this warrant here, I was impressed. 
After taking this guy for a blast on our CBR 1000 RR, I was pleasantly pleased with this helmet. It is extremely light and light feeling due to the aerodynamic design. Coupled with that helmet weight of 3.6 pounds, it makes this an exceptionally light feeling helmet out there on the road. Now at highway speeds, I didn't experience any significant buffeting and checking my blind spots was a breeze. It was safe and stable. And also the viewport here on the Warren is plenty, allowing me to check my peripherals real easily without any obstructions. There was also plenty of ventilation on this guy. I did take it for a highway blast. So much air was coming on in. And while I was putting around town, I was comfortable in this lid here. So the ventilation package is great. I even used the drop down internal sun visor. It was a sunny day. I didn't bring glasses with me. So really nice touch here. And to talk about wind noise with these extra exhaust fans here. The wind noise actually on this, believe it or not, was very standard. So I didn't experience any significant quieting and then I didn't experience any significant massive noise levels. It was very standard for a thermoplastic polycarbonate lid, which tends to be on the noisier side of the spectrum. All in all folks, I was very pleased with the Z1R Warrant helmet. And thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. Again, this has been Patrick Powers from Powerhouse Motorsports. If you like the video, please like. If you learned something from the video, we would love if you subscribe. Give us a follow on Instagram at powerhouse.motorsports. Also take a look at us on Facebook. Stay up to date to all of our events, our sales and offers. Stay tuned in the future as we make more videos, as we go through our entire product inventory and let you know what's up to snuff. Ride safe.